Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Fall into Vegas. You're here with Randall Lefevre, otherwise known as Drax Craven, when I'm back at the 188 rest stop. You know, the forecaster did tell me that Veronica would make a good friend. And she did offer to go with me. Let's see if she can make good on that. Couldn't get enough of talking to me the first time, huh? I'm ready to travel. Good. I would hoped you'd come around. Shall we? Let's show. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. What? I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? As long as you're honest with me from now on. Sure, just don't ever ask me if your outfit makes you look fat. Are you kidding well, me? Thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. What can I Let's say? Let's the road, huh? Scribe's assistant. What does that perk do? Well, Veronica is, an, is a companion. That player can craft workbench items through Veronica's dialogue. That is... <sighs> That's an ability, all right. Here's the thing. Eddie can also already do that. So, you know, all right, whatever. Fuck it. Hmm... Yeah, we should probably take care of that eventually. Maybe do maybe I'm I'm gonna do some more work for 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 Alice um, under the guise of getting her to lower her guard. You know what I mean? It it doesn't do anything mechanically, but you know for the sake of for the sake of argument and I don't know fun, we're, I'm gonna do that. Yo, Alexander. Still making a nuisance of yourself. Goddamn right. Take a look. Got any sweet guns or swords or better yet some ammo? Hmm. Assault carbine, battle rifle. Jesus. Also, I like how most of his stuff is sold at like full durability. Like this guy's not fucking around. He's like, nah, man, you want it? Who the fuck? How? Okay, assault carbine, light bolt. It would appear that I sold him some trash some while ago. A while ago. And he still got it. Six shot cylinder. Nice. Ported chambers, eh? Jesus Christ, drum mags. Just put some fucking 60 more bullets in there. It's fine. Hmm. All right, show me that sweet, sweet ammo. I'll take those 308s. Those other 308s. Oh shit. Okay. How about no? How about we stick to regular bullets with sane prices? Can we do that? Cool. Christ. I don't have an anti material rifle yet. But I'm gonna. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Pulse slug? How does that even. You know what? Don't tell me. Don't. Don't explain that shit to me. I don't. I don't. Why do you sell BBs? You know what? Another question I don't actually want answered. Don't, don't say anything, please. I'm afraid the answer would be worse than I want to hear. More than I can handle. Oh shit, wait, no, 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 no. I'm not selling my trusty Vault 13 canteen. That thing's got too much history. You know what I will sell you? Blood sausage. Boom. Give me that money. You're doing business with you. Later, man. The Legion isn't going to go away just because Caesar is dead. If the rumors is true. This is true. The Legion had consistencies in the event of his demise. Uh, let's not go to the Gunrunners. Let's wait. What's in the Crimson Caravan Company? Oh, uh, whatever. Let's go to the strip north gate and then we'll work our way out. Hmm. Sorry, gears are turning. So many quests I can do, so little time. Veronica, I hope you're ready to punch a dissident. Some motherfucker's gonna try to rob me, and I expect you to punch them to death. Why? No mercy. No mercy, no problems. Where's this guy I'm supposed to talk to? Oh god, it looks like he's in the atomic. 
Atomic Wrangler. Atomic Ready. Wrangler. Steady. Oh, there they are. Get them. Get them, Eddie. Yeah, fuck them up. Oh, shit. I don't want to lose my XP on this one. <laughs> Negative 102 health. There's nothing left. He's dead, Jim. Holy shit. Mother of God, as God is my witness, he's broken in half. The Do poor. You like me? Uh... Objection, leading the witness. God damn it. I love, I love this, I love the stealth suit. I bet nobody's ever been as unnoticed as me. I mean, definitionally, yes. Where's the shitheaded kid? Holy fuck! Hey. Who the fuck? Shove off! You're making my luck turn bad. I'm here to talk about ending your employment with the Crimson Caravan Company. Fuck no! No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? Oh my god! So you don't have the Omertas' money yet? I mean, maybe I should let them know about that. What? No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. <sighs> just a little emotional leverage. It goes a long way. Alright, we got that taken care of. What's left? What's the next on the list? And now on Cassidy Caravans. Shit. All right. Let's go for the last one. I'm going to try to sneak into the Gunrunner's base of operations and acquire their manufacturing secrets. Oh, God. Somebody end me. I'm awful at stealth. Uh, yo, Veronica, uh, stay here. You brought something to read. Eddie, stay here. Quick save. Lean, bend, kiss ass, goodbye. All right, we're good. We're gold. We're gravy. How the fuck? How the fuck do I even get in here? There's got to be a way to sneak in. Uh, now the fence goes all the way around that way. Oh fuck! This place is a fortress, fully outfitted. Maybe I should put away. You know what? I'm not gonna have any weapons. I'm not in there to fight. I'm not gonna kill anybody. Okay. I expected, I don't know, like a door guard or something. Fucking, I don't know. I've lost karma. Don't unlock doors, kids. It's against the blah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stealth section. Oh shit. God damn it, Eddie, where are your sensors? Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you just not turn around ever? Okay, that's cool. That that's fine. Okay, great. It's a total dead Time end. To fight. Okay. Mmm. Failed already. All right. All right. Let's let's do it again. Let's. Whoo. Let's just shake out. Let's just shake out all all the problems. Just shake out all the problems. Can I just go up the stairs? Can I just do that? Okay. I can't go up the stairs. But you know what I can do? I can wait for them to go by. And then when they're done with that, I can move in behind them. Please tell me. Please don't tell me that it's been as simple as this my entire life. Because I have always, like, just automatically, like, rejected this mission. Oh my god! What? I've always rejected this mission because it's like, oh man, there's no way I can do it. There's no way that I can possibly fucking make this happen. Vendortron naming. Seriously, can we stop calling the Vendortron a Vendortron? Let's give the thing a proper name like Bob. We're not calling it Bob. We'll vote on it at the end of this week. Please, please, please come up with something decent. Camp McGarren order 172. Missile launchers 7. Missiles 200. We'd like this order expedited if possible. The situation at the dam requires it. Persona non grata. 
One of the Crimson Caravan guards, identified as Robert Wilson, decided it would be funny to take a shot at our Vendertron. He's lucky he didn't get a 38 through his idiot skull. We're currently negotiating with McClafferty for reparations, but in the meantime, we need to update the Vendertron's recognition software to filter out all Crimson Caravan employees. We'll also need to pull some strings over at McCarran and get them temporarily barred from purchasing ammo there as well. Oh boy. That would be bad. Wow, that was this is this seriously it? This is all you have to do? Dodge three assholes in a gutter and then fucking use a terminal? Not even like not even like hack the terminal. Just fucking just click it. Just push the button. Oh no, it's never that simple. Now the game is totally shaking itself. God damn it. And we're back. I'm a stealth genius. Don't look at the suit. It was all me. Hey guys, what's up? Aww. This guy's totally not going to notice anything happened. I, can I help you? Who are you, dude? Oh. Huh. I guess he's just some gunrunner man. Hello, gunrunner man. I hear that you see all. All right, cool. Fiends? No fiends. Sometimes fiends attack the Crimson Garifan Company. Uh, you know, but only when you show up. So like, it's more like they just attack you. <laughs> anyway. Wow, I've never done that before. That was astonishingly simple. I figured, I don't know, I guess I was expecting some more like Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline shit and that was, you know, like, fucking nothing. I do feel like, kind of evil for doing it though. Our Rangers are gonna show everyone what happened. Welcome back. Alright, I got the Gunrunner's hot tape. I hear it's business as usual at the Gunrunner's, as if nothing unusual happened. Excellent work. We'll be able to use the schematics you acquired to begin manufacturing our own weapons immediately. We'll provide some to you at a discount. Sweet, I can't wait to put you out of business. Uh, Henry Jameson no longer works for you. Yes, I understand that he's decided to quit outright and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. Then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. I can imagine why. Ca Cassidy Caravans has been bought out. It is now part of the Crimson Caravan Company. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. As opposed to destroying them. Or killing them. Or doing anything else. Is there anything else that you need me to do, ma'am? Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there, locate the bottle cap press, and disable it. Uh, uh, is that bad? What would you like to know? Uh, why is the bottle cap press a problem for you? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass producing new bottle caps. I mean, what makes a bottle cap genuine? Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time consuming to make, so the numbers are small. Got it, all right, well, okay, I'll go take care of that. Sounds like something I should do. That being said, you got any evidence? Like, then maybe you're a horrible monster person? This woman is staring right at me, and yet does not know I exist. So I'm gonna assume that not knowing I exist- That hidden means hidden, you know, sometimes it doesn't. You can take that for granted in the Fallout game. I'm gonna assume that hidden means hidden, and then I can bust open this safe. A Crimson Caravan Van Graff Agreement and a pile of money? I'll take all that shit. Give me that- Give me all that fucking bacon money. I want it all. Uh, but let's let's deal with some pressing matters for now. Hey, the Sunset Sasporal Headquarters. I've been there once. 
I didn't go in though. It was scary. It was, it was a lot of shit. It was, it was a lot of bottles. I was scared of glass. I don't want to get me in me. Huh. That's weird. Just like a pile of hostels directly behind the factory. That's that's weird. That's Festus. He's a talking robot. He's very frustrating. We'll deal with him later. All right. It also appears that he has been shot up. Probably for being an asshole. Give me the soda. Christ, this place is built like a maze. Ah. Ready? Fuck. Steady. What is it? Ready. Ah. What the fuck? Oh, fiends. Oh shit. Later, nerd. Oh my god. Why were these bastards worth so much experience points? They were not they were not very effective. Just a regular laser rifle, eh? Give me that sweet, sweet plasma rifle. I just I just really like how the fiends use a lot of energy weapons. I think that that's just super cool. And I mean like in my mind it also makes sense. Like even though okay, and actually okay, so in my mind that makes a lot of sense. Number 1 because energy weapons are flashy, you know? It's the kind of thing an idiot would use just to be like, yeah, I use energy weapons. It's awesome. I'm an awesome shooter. Pew 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 lasers. And on the flip side, you can actually, because you can recycle, uh -oh. what? Because you can recycle the, um, the, uh, the, the, the ammunition for it. Oh, is that some coffee mugs? Fucking give me those coffee mugs, dude. Oh, 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 boom. That's all. Goes the dynamite. But, um, yes, as I was saying, um, you can recycle the ammunition, so it would make sense that they would want to use that so that they would be able to make their Where's ammunition go further. Crucible. Pristine. Twilight. Shit. Presence. Precious. Just running the gamut today. You have one saved message. Check message. To Margie Walker, Trucker's Union Representative. Subject, bad news. I'll apologize up front if there are any mistakes in this message. I'm trying out a new dictation headset. Margie, the boss man, just ordered some kind of newfangled robot that's supposed to take over some of your deliveries. I'm not supposed to talk about it, but you should hear about it soon. I'll write again when I know more. Do not pass this along. Check draft. We've got trouble. That hush hush experimental robot I told you about the other day, the damn thing is single handedly running all our distribution in the Vegas area now. Your boys aren't on temporary leave. It's permanent. Damn, the president wants to see me in his office. I'll finish this later. Aw oh, man, that's rough. I'm sorry to hear that truckers union. Oh, here's the press? Here we are. Strip all the important looking bits out of the machine. Ooh, three scrap metals. I can turn those into bullets. No more fiends, which makes me happy. I mean, in a way, like I'm happy because uh, no fiends around here, but I'm also sad because I want experience points. I told you, I have an addiction. I have a problem. I need my points. Give them. Give, give, give them to me. I want to be level bazillion. I want to punch rad scorpions in the head until they die with my bare hands. My bare fucking hands. Oh, huh. Speaking of, I actually own a bare hand. Huh. Well then. I think that's some shit. I can't believe I lost the mysterious magnum. I'll, I'm gonna go over there and look for it. I've heard that security. Welcome back. Yo, Bullcraft press is no longer a problem. Good. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment for a job well done. 
All right, that's it. It's been a pleasure. Than ever. 500 bottle caps for me. All right, that's all. Thank you very much for joining me in this episode of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. If you liked what you saw, hit like. If you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. And if you think that what I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. I can use that money to do fantastic, amazing things like make more videos, start streaming, hire an artist to do cool shit, do the coolest thing I could think of, pay my rent. But until then, good night, everyone.